New at 6, electric vehicle fires can be dangerous and hazardous. And with more electric cars on the road, there's a greater need for emergency training for first responders. KTVU's Brooks Rose takes us to Pleasanton as firefighters got hands-on training. We should have been doing this uh, many years ago, so now it's, it's definitely catch-up time. Preparation and anticipation for a high voltage situation. More electric vehicles means a higher chance one may be in a highway crash or catch fire, like this Tesla on Monday in Sacramento. It can't just be the same old way of putting down vehicle fires. It's, it's more dangerous. Uh, you're talking about higher electricity voltage. Uh, you're talking about more water. And so that's going to strain our resources. And so we have to train and adapt uh, to this new technology. Are there any other data points that you were given about the incident? It's why 40 Bay Area first responders are getting a firsthand look at the big batteries and all of their components. They're all marked in orange to make sure they see those. We want them to avoid any contact with those. General Motors is using its electric vehicles to teach at the Alameda County Fairgrounds, seeing some destroyed by flames and equipping firefighters with tools and knowledge to better respond safely. If we get in there and uh, try to mitigate and we cut or isolate something that's uh, in high voltage, uh, we could definitely kill ourselves. Uh, also with the fire component, it's going to burn a lot hotter for a lot longer. Oakland has added two water tenders to deal with fires on the freeways. Using more water is the recommended method to battle a battery fire. But firefighters say other techniques could also be effective, like letting it burn or jumping in to stop the spread. We learn different areas where you're able to disconnect the 12 volt batteries and um, knowing the dangers of um, the batteries that run the car. And you could pull one out and look at it. Detailing the hazards and access points. Some manufacturers are making it all publicly available through rescue documents. We want them to be able to access those. We want them to know where they are. They can use them as a response tool. They can also use them as a training tool when they go back to their stations and, and work with their crews. Because the calls can be unpredictable, and this kind of emergency training is step one towards safety. It just furthers our knowledge and hopefully gives us a better fighting chance of, you know, taking a bad situation and making it better. In Pleasanton, Brooks to Rose, KTVU, Fox 2 News.